Okay, so I had an interesting conversation. I, uh, I think I really well explained well uh, Kennedy. Um, so let's go ahead and hear what, first of all, what this guy had to say. Truly Cayaviello, he is in love with JFK and gives him a pass in Vietnam. JFK was Vietnam. JFK sent 15k troops into Vietnam. Search and destroy missions started under his watch as well as riverboat warfare. These missions all failed by the way and eventually led to the Gulf of Tonkin farce under LBJ. JFK was committed to Vietnam because of the sizable Catholic population that were to be killed if the communists took over. Martin Drummond. Okay, that's true. All that happened under his presidency. But it's a total misrepresentation uh, for reasons which I'll make clear. So let's listen to what I had to say. You're as ignorant as most people concerning JFK. They raise the truth and the facts. Most people think JFK and the Kennedy family were informed. In fact, they weren't any more informed or intelligent than most Americans. JFK had no idea that he was being manipulated by the shadow government of Bush's, Harriman's, Douglas, etc. I am still hoping to find that picture of Douglas behind Kennedy at his desk in the Oval Office looks very much what one would imagine if the devil were behind him speaking into his ear and that's very much what was going on. In the meantime we have to learn how the Harrimans and the Windsors were in fact running the wars in Southeast Asia for their down wealth opium and heroin and a multitude of other goods running through the British trading companies and not just the British but all of Europe Kennedy was a patsy just like Lee Oswald both were dumb heroes dumb that's the important thing here they were not aware of what was going on until it was too late and Kennedy having all that power fought back he arranged to end the CIA and the Federal Reserve. He took away the oil company tax loopholes and he was killed for that and for arranging for the withdrawal from Vietnam which was immediately reversed by LBJ the shadow government's butt boy and traitor to the American people. He also was secretly arranging the taunt with Cuba another note no as far as the LBJ Nixon Bush Dulles Bay of Pigs shadow government was concerned. With all these facts out in the open I am surprised there aren't a lot more Oliver Stones. In fact I am amazed these truths aren't read every day in American high school and college textbooks. In fact, I think this should be required reading Heartache Son William P. Bundy, yes, and the 1939 was a CIA officer from 1951 to 1961, as a 19... Okay, so, yeah, this is the unauthorized biography of George Bush. And it's what I'm referring to. And uh, I've taken some expert excerpts and uh, put them into text to voice so that you can hear them. And they already started a little bit on it. But uh, I'm just going to let it continue on. Uh, and, and I do think that everybody should... So, what I think you're going to find out about my argument with why I have a problem with this guy is because him and so many people like him, they're, 
They're just saps for the right-wing extremists. You know, anybody who wants to paint JFK as being pro-Vietnam, all they're doing is taking a short period of time where JFK was totally ignorant of what was going on and they don't understand that the reason he died was because he figured out what was going on. You know, that's what this song is all about here. That's a nasty picture. Really is. And this uh, song is all about the assassination. So let's go ahead and hear some of this text. But I think these people, I mean, as much as they believe in what they think, I mean, they're, they're despicable. Uh, what they believe is despicable. It, it, and it shouldn't be tolerated. And I shouldn't be like the only person <laughs> in America just about who, you know, points out the truth. And here's, so here's some of the information from, that I got out of this, uh, unauthorized biography of George Bush. From somewhere around here. Sixties defense official. He pushed the Harriman Douglas scheme for a Vietnam War. Harvey's other son. George Bundy, yes, and the 1940 co authored Stinson's memoirs in 1948. As President John Kennedy's Director of National Security, McGeorge Bundy organized the whitewash of the Kennedy assassination and immediately switched the U.S. policy away from the Kennedy pullout and back toward war in Vietnam. It cannot be the task of this study to even begin to treat the reasons for which certainly being elements of the Anglo-American financial oligarchy, perhaps acting with certain kinds of support from continental European aristocratic and neo-fascist networks, ordered the murder of John F. Kennedy. The British and the Harrimanites wanted escalation in Vietnam. By the time of his assassination, Kennedy was committed to a pullout of U.S. forces. Kennedy, as shown by his American University speech of 1963, was also interested in seeking the more stable path of war avoidance with the Soviets, using the U.S. military superiority demonstrated during the Cuban Missile Crisis to convince Moscow to accept the policy of world peace through economic development. Kennedy was interested in the possibilities of anti-missile strategic defense to put an end to that nightmare of mutually assured destruction which appealed to Henry Kissinger, a disgruntled former employee of the Kennedy administration whom the president had denounced as a madman. Kennedy was considering moves to limit or perhaps abolish the usurpation of authority over the national currency by the Wall Street and London interests controlling the Federal Reserve System. If re-elected to a second term, Kennedy was likely to have re-asserted presidential control as distinct from Wall Street control over the intelligence community. There is good reason to believe that Kennedy would have ousted J. Edgar Hoover from his self-appointed life tenure that the FBI 
subjecting that agency to presidential control for the first time in many years. Kennedy was committed to a vigorous expansion of the space program, the cultural impact of which was beginning to alarm the finance oligarchs. Above all, Kennedy was acting like a man who thought he was President of the United States, violating the collegiality of oligarchical trusteeship of that office that had been in force. Okay, so you can see, obviously, that these guys, and, you know, I get a lot of what I say from, from this uh, biography, and it influences my songwriting. So just going out, let's listen to a little bit more. Of my song, let's see what it says. Oops, sorry.
Okay, so that's one of my songs. Most of my songs are political because uh, I guess because I feel so strongly about the things like this that have happened. So I uh, hope you enjoyed my little segment here today. Uh, hope to see you again next time.